Hi everyone, here with you again today to talk about how to build a backyard pond for koi and goldfish, part two. In the first part, we talked about how to design your pond in your backyard, lay it out so it works with your natural landscape, and also how to dig it out and to make a concrete collar for it. The concrete collar is very important to ensure it has maintained its strength throughout the seasons and allow you a good foundation for your rocks and your shrubbery around it. Here you see what it looks like with the concrete collar poured about 10 inches by 10 inches. The right side is the pond, the left side is the filter pit. So today we're going to talk about adding the liner and the filter setup. So now we're ready to start connecting from the pond to the filter pit. What you're going to do is you're going to have to tunnel about a three and a half inch channel to go from the pond on the right to the filter on the left. You see that metal rod on the ground? That's about the line that I took. Now my drain is about five feet down and it's coming all the way up to one foot in the filter pit on the left hand side. Here you see at the top of frame where the um, metal is just poking through, that's where the um, the channel comes out and that's where my plumbing will enter into my barrels which I'll show you shortly. So once the hole is dug you're now ready to add the liner. Underneath the rubber liner which you can get from Goodyear available on Amazon and various garden supply stores um, I use that black synthetic um, protector that membrane that you put underneath the rubber. It acts as a way to protect against our uh, roots and any rocks that might shift uh, and just protect your rubber liner. Now in the center there you'll see I've already dug a hole because I have put the drain in already. I had dug down four feet for my pond and then an additional foot I went down to put this filter in, or not filter rather, but the drain. And the drain then goes with the pipe up into my filter pits, filter barrels. Okay, so here's a look at my drain in profile. You can see that gap at the top there. That is where the water will then go through and then out to my filter barrels. Here's looking at it down from on top before I put this gasket and the lid on. You can see here there's the gasket on the left side. You screw that down with the rubber in between and there's the lid on the right hand side. So once that's done on top, um, and you've then got the rubber stretched out and now you are all set to start adding your barrels and your other plumbing. Here's a look at your first of the two barrels on the left hand side. They come in multiple sizes. Uh, typical are 25, uh, 30 or 40 gallon drums. I'm using two 40 gallon drums. So there that pipe you see on the right of frame comes in through the underground uh, tunnel that I dug. Before I glue anything together, I use lots of gaffer tape uh, or duct tape to hold it in and make sure it all fits properly. Your second barrel will go on the right hand side and here you see it. And the way this works is as the water comes into the left barrel, the heavier sediment will fall to the bottom. The cleaner water will come through the top and then run into the second barrel on the right and it will then run through a series of filters and then I will pump it out and into my uh, pond via I'll come out through a water uh, waterfall that I set up. So now you're ready to start adding some water to start stretching out the rubber. Now before you uh, fill it up all the way, all the folds in the rubber, you're going to want to use some rubber patches on. Uh, this will just ensure that you don't get uh, debris gathering in there. It will also stop the aquatic life from wanting to get caught or possibly nesting in there. Just makes it a little bit tidier and easier to maintain for you. In the next uh, series, in the next video, I'm going to go over the details of how to do all the landscaping, the rock work, and to get your uh, filter and waterfall up and running properly. Hope you enjoyed this guys. If you did, I'd appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be putting out regular videos with tips on pond maintenance and other ideas for you. Thanks for watching guys.